Yes, sir. You already know it's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do that, let's give this video a thumbs up. So AMC Entertainment, we trading at $42, guys. Great day to start off doing exactly what we was intended to do. Have that continuation and that momentum continue to push from Monday, even from Friday, because before the news came out, before the bed back and beyond started going crazy and after i was on yesterday before all of this little catalyst and news to help get us a boost in our price action with amc we already was expecting a great week on top of all that just by how we closed on friday above resistance and after we got that huge spike showing us that buying pressure the demand was still there for those cheap shares guys so we most definitely look for AMC to continue to close above that $43 resistance, break above it once again today. But this time, once we break above it, to hold it and stay above it, guys. Once we break 43, we can run a little higher to maybe around 44, 45, and then come back down, break below 43, and hopefully end the day working our way back up to 43, guys. So we already know, expect the volatility along the way, regardless of how good we are doing. So let's go ahead and check this out, guys. TD Ameritrade places varying restrictions on trading in four stocks, including AVIS, AMC, GME, and Digital World Acquisition Corps. So we know that TD Ameritrade said it's limiting certain option strategies and blocking short selling on the stocks of AVIS and the Donald Trump leaked special purpose acquisition company, which is Dig Digital World Acquisitions. So guys, they most definitely is trying to hold these stocks back trying to put restrictions on them just as they did back in january i'm pretty sure these not the same exact restrictions you still able to they say you still able to you still able to do long call options and puts but for the simple fact that they trying to limit certain option strategies and they blocking short selling for certain stocks they is basically trying to do the same thing they did in january with gamestop you know just limit it let the stock be just let the stock be whoever wants to short the stock let them short it whoever wants to buy the stock let them buy it they like to say it's volatility halts and circuit brackets whenever there's so much volume being pushed into one security but my thing is i believe you know i believe they just be trying to do things like that to to slow down the process of what we got going on. Every time we pick up steam and get the ball rolling, they try to come out with these restrictions, guys. So we already know we're going to get past that with or without the restriction on TD Ameritrade. I still believe AMC is in the bullish sentiment, guys, and we is on a run back to the upside. So you already know that's all we got for this video, guys. Just want to give you all a quick update on AMC Entertainment and let you guys know what's going on with that. The day is looking lovely, and let's continue to keep that foot on the pedal, guys. Break through 43, there's no walls in between, straight back to the 50s. And we know how that FOMO is when it start rolling in. And I was telling y'all the previous videos, AMC had died down a little bit. But I had just told y'all the hype and attention was coming right back. And I guarantee you it's right back. It's here. It's back. So that's all we got, guys. Consider joining the family. Post over here every single day. Add your boy on Instagram. I love y'all. We out. And God bless you.